I do this to myself? Why am I writing my practice ice on prom night? This is supposed to be the night of my life. Gosh, I should really just leave my English nerdiness for later. Check it out, we're gonna be late. The limo's outside. Just go on without me, I'll be right there. Just think about your dream, Catch. What would life be like as a Niqua English teacher? That's what's gonna get you through this essay. <laughs> Niqua English. Niqua English. Niqua English. on the job. I knew she was the wrong choice. She's all we've got and you know it. Just wake her up. Uh, Lady Cashner, do wake up. The day is just getting started. Huh? What? Oh, come on. You know who I am. Dr. Robert McBride, principal of Negro Valley High School <laughs> in the proud <laughs> of Downton Hall B. The B hallway. And I'm Lady Hanson. You were in my AP4 class and now you're back to save Downton Hall B. Back from where? I'm in your AP4 class right now. I'm writing an essay for you right now. Oh, that's sweet. But you're not my student. You're my colleague. What? Oh, there's no time to chat, Lady Kesh. We have an all-staff meeting in five. Do come along. What's going on? How did I get here? I and mean, why are we all talking in English accents? Because <laughs> it's the English hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you're here because you're the next in line for a spot on the AP team. We like to choose our candidates early. Kind of like the presidential race, but much more serious. <laughs> of course it is, but I don't even have a bachelor's degree. Oh, Jackie, this is your slightly creepy dream sequence. You have whatever you say you have. You could have superpowers, free guac at Chipotle, heck, even a proposal from Mr. Darcy. But for our purposes today, we need you to save Downton Hall B. Otherwise, the STEM departments will take over our space. We all know that you don't use math in real life. <laughs> uh, you really don't. So we need you, Jack. All of us. All? Announcing Lady Schneider. <laughs> Lady Schneider. Lady Cashner, it's been a while. No, it uh, really hasn't. I stuck in one of my foster cats. Do you think they'll notice? Maybe <laughs> if you let it out of the bag. Announcing Lady de Basic. Schneider, what the heck? Why didn't you wait for me? My uh, bag needed feeding, and someone stole all of my dark chocolate mint and ends. Uh, uh, they were delicious, <laughs> but here's the rest. Oh, and I also snuck in one of my pet chickens. <laughs> but why are you counting that before it hatches? <laughs> uh, you're cracking me up. <laughs> announcing, announcing Lord Rossi. Sorry I'm late, I was planning Writers Week 2016, grading AP3 papers, prepping monologue show, and I just registered for my next marathon. Oh, you're good, Rossi. <laughs> and now, <laughs> please stand at attention for the Derringer Countess. Where is the Derringer? She knows of this meeting. Butler, why did you announce her? Apologies, my lord, but a messenger just gave me this. <gasps> her stapler! <laughs> There's a note attached. It says, please stop without me. I shall be away for a while. And please, read this in an American accent. Because I'm Gail Darrow and I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Announcing Lord Shaw. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, muchachos. But you know, this hair won't boost itself. <laughs> We're well aware. I thought I put you in the media department, Lord Shub. Oh yeah, well you did. But I heard you got a new member. And I would think she would want an autograph say I was, uh, cause, uh, I was in 17 again. The young and the restless and, uh, Desperate housewife. 
<laughs> Your IMDb page is impressive, but we're in the middle of a crisis. Have you seen the Derringer? I haven't, but when your acting prowess and star power is this bright, it's hard to see anyone in front of you. Get out! Oh. Oh. By it's no use, the Derringer has a first period class in five minutes. She won't make it back in time. Jackie, you have to take a place. Not the MP3 Juniors, they're insane. Stay calm, you're ready. Let's do it, put it down. Not even Tommy Floor, not even start to fight. Oh no. <laughs> you're not Mrs. Darrow. Yes, I know. Does this mean I can use her stapler? No, she'll put you on death row for even asking. <laughs> yes, thank you for What do the Jane Eyre Ices do? Oh, yeah, yeah, and are you going to check annotations for that? Crap, we have to do annotations! Oh. Guys, calm down. How do we write an essay? And no, what was to the lighthouse even about? Is it too late to switch my summer choice novel? We have a summer choice novel! What's the AP test like? Will you write me letter of Bradley right now? It. That's it! I don't feel flash! I took your single with me! Guys, guys, listen! <laughs> listen, I know what you guys are going through. AP3 is a very tough class, and the expectations for you this year are higher than ever. I was there, guys. In fact, I was there not that long ago. How long ago? Give me that. My point is, there's a reason why you're here. You could have very easily joined many of your peers in taking yet another AP science or math class. But there are some things in this world that numbers can't quite describe. Literature is the qualitative data of mankind. Every poem, every play, and every novel is a different author's hypothesis, a different answer to the universe's daunting question. Who are we and why are we here? Great literary works deserve our analysis and criticism because each time we read them, we retest a piece of our own souls. The world around us gains more context and meaning and, dare I say, more beauty. Now I'll admit, some of your fears about this class are justified. Your first ices will make your souls crumble and your Macbeth test? <laughs> That's almost satanically hard. <laughs> but what is life but a story of trepidation and perseverance? How is that different from me, standing in front of you right now, scared out of my wits? Or how is that different from Jane Eyre, or Macbeth, or, or Stephen Federalist? Who's that? Not important. Look, whether it's me or Mrs. Darrow, whoever's at the front of this room will guide you towards the people you want to become. Now, I know that doesn't mean much. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> but everything will be OK. Till they're seniors. Ah. It's great to have you back, Kenny. Oh, the best if you your purse, cat. Oh, Jackie, the point is, <laughs> we really don't have a vacancy on the AP team at the moment. But we want you to stick around, just in case the opportunity should arise. Will you do it? It would be an honor. Well, let's make it happen. Swear it on the stapler. I shall uphold the ideals and practices of the Nico Valley English Department. So help me, Guido. <laughs> oh, welcome to Downton Hall B. Sam! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Well, Beth even saw it to live in Wild State this weekend. The funding has quadrupled. They're moving in! They're moving in! <laughs> Their season's ended. You missed the whole prom, and I'm sure the English teachers are fine. Whatever you think happened was only a dream. By the way, you missed the cutest guy at prom. Oh, look, there he is now. Lady Keshner, my feelings for you will not be suppressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> 